Hi guys, I am about to head into Body Power 2017. This is my sixth year speaking at the event. I can't wait to get in, catch up with old friends, colleagues, and also as well, all the people that follow my work. So I'm gonna bring this camera with me throughout the whole course of the day. We're on Friday, which is day one out of three days of the Body Power Expo. And I'm gonna be bringing you, just to give you a few candid shots, a bird's eye view of what goes on at these types of expos. I'll be running into people, I'll be sampling protein bars, you'll see me speaking, you'll see me answering questions, taking selfies, doing a ton of stuff. It's great to meet up all under one hub every single year with like-minded individuals that share a passion for health and fitness. And as you'll see with a lot of the stuff inside the expo, you'll see the advances in supplementation, the advances in nutrition, the advances in coaching, education, a whole host of stuff. So be set for a very exciting day and I hope you enjoy this. Stay tuned. this omelette cooked and onto a plate. Come on, Cozy. I'm getting it. Mark's gone for the milk after the whisking technique, where it's filled up for the milk in through it. Shit. Run, Mark. This is a good one. I'm rescued. Look at her back here, look at her. So we're going to need one person in the audience to come and taste test these two omelettes. Oh, Phil, how's your omelette? Uh, and we'd like to score out of 10 on the aesthetic of the food as well as the taste. Oh, you can say that. Confident? We want to give an honest opinion, please. So, oh, yeah. score out of 10 for taste and oh, yeah. aesthetic. Oh, gross. Right. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here's the best Okay. Cooking ability, there we go. What does it taste like? Bad. Oh! Not bad on the first one. So who's won this challenge? Really common challenge winner, Bill. It was challenging without any oil, without any badge. Being told I was going to do it last minute. And I'm speaking in 15 minutes. Oh, bro. Oh, bro. If you want to come and ask me something, thank you guys. Take care. You guys all good? Thank you very much for coming. Good. What can I help you with? Do that consistently. Have set days, set themes the whole way through the week. There's so many things now. You can go live, you can do Insta stories. If I could ask you how many live videos have you done in the last month? How many? See? See? Yeah, but you gotta learn. Remember what I said, PT Purpose understands 
all those aspects of how you can better themselves. Yes, you maybe are going to piss a few people off, but you're only going to get rid of the people that don't value your service. Client results go actively out of your way, you get professional imagery, like have a product, what is the end product that you're giving that client? So if you took the 17 year old on, where do they start? Where do they finish? You know, those are, that takes a long time to build that. And you have to have a clearly defined audience and who you're talking to. It sounds like at the moment you are maybe a bit diluted. How are you getting on with your diabetes and stuff? Good. Oh, very good, very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't put mine on yet. No, I haven't put it on. I'm probably going to start it in a couple of weeks. Yeah. Yeah, when I get a chance and stuff, I'm gonna I'm gonna blog it and stuff, so I'm gonna do it right. Yeah. So you get that under control. And there's so many factors that go into it: yeah. what you've eaten before, when you've trained, how much sleep you've had, how stressed you are. There's so many factors you got to look at it. But when you measure all that stuff over time, you build patterns, and that's the most important thing. Yeah. If you can dedicate six days, look at your work schedule, look at your lifestyle. If you're able to dedicate as much time as you can to that training, use as much time as you can. So you're if gonna yourself, be at a threshold with what you can put on at the yeah, BCA. Yeah. of what you're competing against so you yeah. gotta yeah. be mindful yeah. yeah. that like that, that fucking worked it was actually an ex that was really kind of in the back of my mind and stuff like that and i just kind of sent her a message kind of just being like you know just building a bridge kind of thing and it's actually fucking paid off loads yeah like, first of all you need to define who you want to work with you all know the female issues that they struggle with the most and if you can identify those and talk about those on any form of platform to be honest that's going to be getting a good videographer making sure that you know who you're working with what kind of content you're going to be putting out there you don't want to be diluted you want to be highly focused does that make sense yeah then work with those and be able to, to work with that and then change it all right okay big man yeah no problem session with the arms to do after this we started off with a compound pressing movement we used a machine because it's quite hard to work a barbell work a complex movement in a very busy gym environment so just for safety and also because we've had a very very busy day we don't want to tax our system too much with super heavy pressing so we went in and did around about 8 to 12 reps on the machine press as you saw we then did some seated strict side laterals and now we're doing some reverse dumbbell rear flies and we've got them angled specifically just to get tension right bang on the deltoid so keep an eye for how we actually train it and how we do it